Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Neff from That's Tech, but it's otherwise known as your friendly neighborhood basement dweller. Don't worry, ma'am, I am from the internet. Today, we're just going to be doing a teardown. How's it going, folks? Anyways, the Inatab 2, interesting piece of technology. Lots of fun for everyone. And I got to say, there's a lot of interesting technology in here. I was really surprised to find that it had a... SD card in it. ProLine SDHC. Sometimes it's hard to find those older ones. You can get them off Amazon, though, if you need to. Anyways, looks like all the screws are Phillips head. I had to pop off the plastic heads on this thing in order to uh, get to them. But it's nice that this comes from a time when everything wasn't just held on in clips, which seems to be the situation now. Come on. Come on. All right, all the screws are out. Let's see. Oh, wait, got two more in there. And then we can have the moment of truth and see how hard this thing is going to be to get open. Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm missing a screw. Missing a screw. Where am I missing it from? Oh, it was right up here. Oh, and I had another one here. And after that, oh, she pops right off. And what do we got here? Come on, zoom in. Come on, autofocus. Yay. We got a lot going on here. Oh, I love it. We have the camera with a... Let's flip that up and take that off. That's where the SD card bay is. Unscrew, unscrew, unscrew. Unscrew, unscrew, unscrew. Oh, and then pop this off too. Like... So, pop just like that. Keep this stuff going. All right, I prefer it when they have terminations, but we don't have terminations. I'm after everything is directly soldered in here, here, here. Oh, what does that board say? One sec. I cannot read that. Come on, autofocus. Autofocus, don't fail me now. Come on. Huh. Autofocus is not being my friend today. All right, we're going to flip her open. I am so sorry. This autofocus is giving me such a hard time today. What's going on, autofocus? Huh. Okay, so it's a GPL32... Nine zero chip. So that'll be the central process. No, that'll be the central. Why does it? Ha okay, so it has a, it'll, it'll have the daughter board here like this because this board is going to be flipped out. They're going to have different manufacturers making it at different times. And this is a Toshiba chip right there. So I'm wondering if that, okay, that's probably the memory chip that, there. That'll be the central processing chip. This will be the memory chip. And that'll be a ROM of some form or other. I really have to wonder what's going on with my autofocus today. Oh, that's much nicer. Thank you. Put it in two times zoom. I have no problem. Let's take a look at the back now. Much nicer. Much, much nicer. Okay, as we can see here, we have the speaker. It's just a little itty bitty boy. Get 
get this sucker open. I love the fact this thing takes AA batteries. These days, everything seems to have its own batteries on the inside. Come on. Oh, blam. Just like that. We get to open it up and get to see what's on the inside. I love the buttons. I've always been a big fan of buttons. Push button membrane buttons. Let's zoom out. Come on. There we go. Pop. 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 Yeah, what a cute little screen. How does that... Okay, yeah, so that's how it pops in there. If you're thinking about replacing the screen, we got a... Let's zoom in so it'll actually get a good focus. Stop shaking. YD1301. So if you need to replace that, that's what you'll need. But if you replace it, you'll probably need to get this whole piece... Yeah, really, these screens are really going. Oh, it just pops out. Okay, lovely. I'm going to keep this and hook it up to something else. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. And that from those tech bits. Like and sub if you like this stuff. Always appreciate it. And as always, folks, take care of each other, will you?